New at 8 o'clock, we're seeing the damage to a Worcester High School under construction after it caught fire. Look at that. WBZ launched a drone over the building to give you that viewpoint, and the flames earlier tore through the site, actually forced one worker to the hospital and left a nasty fight for fire crews. WBZ's Ken McLeod has been there all afternoon at the school. Ken, what have you learned so far tonight? Well, Chris, people tell me you could see that plume of thick black smoke from several surrounding towns. Now, let's go ahead and check out the scene right now. We're about 10 months into construction here, and the site is still almost all concrete and steel, not really flammable stuff. But something delivered this afternoon changed that. As the sun set tonight, our drone camera captured firefighters still on the roof, hosing down the smoldering stacks of insulation that had fueled spectacular flames. I do not use the word hell as a slang word, but it looked like what I think of as hell. It was just after 3 p.m. when firefighters got several 911 calls about heavy smoke atop one of four buildings under construction as part of the new $316 million Doherty High School. It's like a punch the gut a little bit. You know, you put a lot of time and effort. A lot of time went to the planning of the school. The smoke quickly became a rooftop inferno, burning in piles of highly flammable insulation that had just been put up there this morning and was not yet installed. Collapse was a uh, forethought in our minds and I'm um, really creating a zone to keep the firefighters safe. The fire came after kids at the current Doherty High next door had already gone home. No children on campus school was already um, let out, so that was very comforting. Despite a dry hydrant and a long hose run, firefighters doused the flames in less than 30 minutes. One construction worker suffered minor injuries, and neighbors say several fleeing workers told them what started the fire. And he said it was a welder spark hit the roofing material, which was very flammable. Fire officials confirmed that welders were working on the roof, but could not yet pinpoint that as a cause. Now comes questions about possible heat damage to the steel support beams and how that might impact a project scheduled to open in January of 2024. There was some structural damage to the roof, just not sure of the extent of it. Fire, uh, fire officials rather say it will probably take a couple of days to assess what kind of setback this is. They do expect OSHA will be taking a look at what happened here. As for the kids at the old Doherty High right here next door, they will have classes tomorrow. Live in Worcester tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. All right, Ken, good information.